unless it's part of a much wider approach. It must be taken together with restraint on government spending, restraint on government barriers. Our right honourable leader and Dennis. <laughs> My lords, ladies, fellow party workers, I am a golfer. But I'm also a Conservative, and the Conservatives are back in power. What a wonderful word. <laughs> but with a new initiative, and above all, a new style. And we are mostly concerned with two main issues. Firstly, immigration. Now, people really do get this party wrong every time on this issue, don't they? We don't think immigrants are animals, for God's sake. I know a lot of immigrants personally, and they're perfectly nice people. They're black, of course, which is a shame. But honestly, some of them can do some jobs almost as well as white people, and we acknowledge this. Now, a lot of immigrants are Indians and Pakistanis, for instance, and I like curry. But now that we've got the recipe. <laughs> Is there really any need for them to stay? Conservatives understand these problems, you see. Like we understand young criminals, another very emotive issue. This party feels that we've been just a little too soft on these bastards. <laughs> Mr. Whitelaw has spoken of the short, sharp, shock treatment and his introduction of the 24,000 volt electric chair <laughs> to two home office detention centres begins next week, on a purely experimental basis, of course. <laughs> if it doesn't work, then of course we will be more than prepared to revert to the old liberal, wishy-washy, socialist, nigger-loving, red, left-wing, homosexual, commie ways of the recent past. <laughs> but please, let's have a chance. It may be a tough road, we know. But don't forget, it is easier for a rich man to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a camel to... <laughs> <laughs> than it is for a camel too.